you know, I, I know that so many people are, are miserable and they're angry and they're upset and they feel like life just isn't worth living. They feel like life just isn't going for them. And it almost frustrates me, you know, <laughs> for real. It almost frustrates me. And, and when I give you the answer to that, it, it, it's going to be real. It, it's crazy. Like, you, you'll see that it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> so many of you are in this boat. I guarantee 95% of the population alone, let alone the people that are watching this, are in this boat. And this is why you're miserable. This is why you're angry. This is why you're broke. This is why you, you know, your wife or your husband left you. This is, this is why. Like this is why everything in your life just seems like it's crumbling and isn't going your way. And I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with you. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I'm gonna be just uh, straight up with you. And it's because you're not listening to yourself and taking responsibility for your life. I, I mean, I really don't know how else to put it. it um, you're not listening to yourself. You're not following your heart, you know? You're stuck in a job, for instance. Most people have, have a job that they hate to be at. And most people, you know, hate their life and they hate waking up in the morning. They hate going to work. They, they just hate it and they have all these complaints and they complain, complain, complain. Everybody has this person in their life that they complain. You might be this person that you just complain about work, right? And you hate your job. But at the end of the day, you're not doing anything about it. What are you doing about it? And you're like, oh yeah, I'm trying to put my applications. Nobody's hiring me. You know, it's real hard in the job market and no, there's, there's not that many jobs available where I'm at. So on, you come up with all these excuses. You, all these excuses as to why your life is going in that direction, why all this negative stuff is happening to you is because you're feeding yourself with all this negativity. You're feeding yourself with all this negative thinking and putting all of your energy and your focus into why something isn't working out the way that you want it to work out. Everyone does this. I've done this. My, I've done this myself. I'm not perfect. We all make mistakes, you know? We, <laughs> we all make mistakes. We're human beings. You know, and, and, and we're so busy living a life that makes us miserable that we become accustomed to that and we become comfortable with that. And that now becomes our, our comfort zone. That now becomes the place that we've, you know, accepted as our home. And that blows my mind. That makes no sense to me. That makes no sense to me. You know what the most uh, common question is that I ask people? The, the, the question that I ask every single person that I come in encounter with at some point in time, I will ask them this question. And I guarantee... I, I think I want to say probably 98% of the people I've asked this question have gave, has given me the same answer, and it's the same. It's the same answer every single time, and it's it's just three words. It's I don't know. I don't know. I said, well, what makes you happy? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I'm not, I'm just not sure. I don't know. <laughs> you know, and, and I, I ask them all the time, I say, well, how do you not know what makes you happy? How do you not know what you're ambitious about? How do you not know what your passion is? How do you not know, you know, what your dream is? How do you not know that? And they say, well, I, I just, I, I've never thought about it. Never thought about it? What do you mean you never thought about it? You, you, you think about all this stuff that's, <coughs> that's negative. All these things that are negative that I hear you say all the time. I hear I hear so many complaints from so many people about, you know, relationships, uh, financial situations, job situations, 
spiritual situation, you know, how they're miserable, emotional, how they're whatever, they're feeling whatever. I hear all these complaints, but they're putting all their energy and focus into that, but they've never thought about what makes them happy. And you know what I think happens? Because this happens, or this has happened to me, is where we know when we're younger what makes us happy. You know, we, we, we have this dream of what we want to do and it's, it's so precious to us and it's so delicate that, you know, we, we let other people tear it down and it's our responsibility. We let that happen. You know, we let other people tear it down. We let other people uh, break it apart, you know? And, and it hurts us when that happens. And so what we do is we, we shut it down, say, I don't want to be hurt like that no more. Um, I'm just going to, you, you know, kind of lower my standards a little bit, something that I know I can get. And I'm just going to be comfortable right there. And that's going to be my safe zone. And then they're miserable and they're angry. And, they, you know, they, they don't like their life and they hate it. And they wonder why they're still there. And sometimes, you know, we we have the goal and we get so off track and we go so far down the road on this side road that we, we had taken just for the moment or just for the time being or just because we thought it was a shortcut that we forget what the actual original goal was. We forget what the actual destination was. And we get so far down this road that, you know, we start to lose gas and you're like, you know what, I can't go back, so I'm just gonna keep moving forward. And that don't make no sense to me. Because you know what I'm gonna do, you know, it's so high on my priority list to reach my goal that I'm gonna take that car, I'm gonna turn it around, and I'm gonna drive all the way back, as far back as I can, as that gas will take me until it gives out, and I'm gonna get out of my car, I'm gonna start walking. It's gonna take me forever, but I'm gonna start walking that way so I can get back on track. And nobody takes that mindset. It, it, it really blows my mind that nobody takes that mindset because it makes no sense to continue down a road that you know you're not happy with. What's the point in living a life where you're not happy? What is the point? You know, that's the thing is that we are all capable of living a happy life. We're all capable of doing the thing that we want to do. Some people are happy taking out the garbage. Some people that, that just... That, that is their thing. That's what they love to do. They feel like they're cleaning up the world. They feel like they're doing something special and they are doing something special. You know, and that's what their passion, you know, so you can't use their excuse. Well, if everybody follows their dream, who's going to, you know, take the garbage out? Who's going to, you know, go to the store and get food and and cash us out and whatever? Like, who, who you know, who's going to do all that? Who's going to do all the, the jobs that is readily available? Who's going to do it? Well, there are people that love to do that, but you know, at the end of the day, maybe that's that's not what you love to do, but you're doing that. And you're putting all your mind, all your focus, all your energy, all your attention into that instead of what makes you happy. And we let people tear it down so easily with just with a few words that are taken from the dictionary that aren't so nice and that aren't so polite and that don't feed your ego. You, you, <laughs> you let someone take use those words on you and you let it tear you down you let it eat you up and you say you know what i think that person's right and, and another crazy thing about that is is like why would you listen to the person that has failed and quit or has failed once or 10 times or 100 times and quit and gave up and is now talking down about your dreams and what you want to do you know you people let that happen all the time. But then you have a successful person that came from a situation way worse than you that has made it. And several people, almost all these people are like that. You know, that come from worse situations that have made it and you don't listen to them. You say, y'all, oh, they got lucky. They got lucky. But yet they were in a worse situation than you were and they still found a way to, to make it. You know, where there's a will, there's a way. That, that saying is true. But nobody wants, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to listen to themselves no more. Nobody wants to pay attention to their intuition. Everybody's looking for an external solution instead of internal because what's internal is hard. What's internal is scary. You have to face your fears instead of run from them. And we all 
look externally for our problems. I used to ask people a thousand questions. Hey, like, why, why am I in this situation I'm in right now? I don't know what to do. What should I do? What would you do? And all this stuff, you know, and they give me this advice and I take it and I use it and they would, it wouldn't work out. And I'd wonder why it wouldn't work out. And it wouldn't work out because it's, it's not what I would do. It's what they would do. It's what works for them, not what works for me. You see what I'm saying? It, it doesn't work for me. So what I had to do is start listening to myself and start looking inside of me and figuring out me and who I am and what I would do and then just do that. And you know what I found is sometimes it sucks. But you know what? After that, after I get through that part, it's all sunshine, baby. It, it is great. It's an amazing feeling to, to know that you listen to yourself and you came up with the solution and you overcame it. You become so much more confident and you become so much more happier and you become so much more capable of doing so much more. And we're all capable of this. We're all unique, beautiful, and special in, in so many different ways, but we choose to ignore that. And we think that everybody else and everything else outside of us has the answer, but no, we have the answer. We have the answer inside of us. And we choose to ignore that all the time. We, we choose to ignore our heart. We don't follow our heart. You need to follow your heart. You need to listen to yourself. If you want to get somewhere in life and you want to get to where you want to go. You have to be the driver if you want to get to where you want to go. Somebody else is a driver. They're going to drive where they want to drive. They want to, they're going to go where they want to go. And you can go with them if you want. But at the end of the day, if you don't like where they took you, where they had taken you, it, hey, doesn't matter, you rode with them. You chose that, you could have got out the car at any point in time. And you could have went on your own journey, your own path, but instead you followed them. And now you don't like where you're at. You listen to yourself, follow your heart. You, you can do it, you are capable. I'm telling you that you are capable. And there are a thousand other people that are more successful than me that will tell you the same thing. They'll tell you the same thing. If you sit down and have a conversation with them, they will enlighten you the exact same way. Listen to yourself. Follow your heart. Think about what you want to do in life and just do it. Think about what makes you happy. Put all your energy and focus into what makes you happy instead of all the things that make you miserable. And that's when your life will change. So I thank you for listening, and I really hope that this video helped you out. Please share it with somebody that you feel that this will help out, because I, I really want this message to get out, and because I feel like this is what our society's problem is. I feel like this is one of our biggest problems, is we don't listen to ourselves, we don't stay focused, you know? And we just accept less. We settle for less, instead of where we put the bar and, and trying to actually reach that. So thank you again for watching this. I really hope this helped. Thank you.